All right, we're back. Jesus, guy, this guy is trying to ruin things, trying to spoil topics Just before the topic even began. Spoiler alert. I'm <laughs> spoiler, not good at that. Don't ever ask me to tell you about a movie. No. No, I tell him to just shut up, shut up, just shut up. Don't even, don't even bring the name up in your mouth. Bruce Wayne is Batman. That's fucked up. How would you tell him that? Nobody knows. <laughs> so, what was your topic? Most disappointing moment. And I, I mean, if there, I, an ending of a game too that like truly made you go like, are you fucking kidding? That's like, are you fucking serious right yeah. now? Oof. I don't know, you know, it's like, that's, a, I mean, that's a tough question because there's not a lot of times that I put myself in, a, in the position to finish out a game long enough to where if I know the game's going down the wrong way or going well, away, I don't before, like, yeah, yeah and most of the time I'm going to jump ship. I'm going to be like, all right, I, this game is just going to be fucked. But a game where it's like you felt intrigued to play long enough to almost deal with the bad ending, I guess. I guess, I mean, like, the most recent would be No Man's Sky. Like, and that wasn't... I was just so close to getting the trophies. I had lost interest maybe 10, 15 hours of before, gameplay before. Of what you were actually doing in the story. Yeah, like, what I was... Well, there, that's just it. You know, there is no story. You know, you're so there, when you beat the game, you really... I mean, you just reset it. They spawn you in a different spot in the universe, and you do it all over again. <laughs> you know, so well, there's your ending. Wow, thanks. Do it again. Yeah, like, do it again. Again. But yeah, I don't know. You go over right now. Yeah, I mean, I'll have to think about it a little bit. Um. Shoot, I, I just had it, and then I lost it. Um... I was thinking more along the lines of an uh, an ending that really upset me, and like one was Bioshock uh, Infinite. Mm. See um, that one hit me hard. Now here's the one fucking, thing I, I like. See, yeah, I like you. So I'm very interested into hearing. I what was you're so saying. mad about it that I stopped watching the credits and I left. And you had told me later you were like, "There's an extra scene." Yeah, the there baby is. Yeah. The, and it does leave you a little more. It's open to interpretation yeah. if he gets a second chance at raising that girl. Right. Writing the time stream or whatever. So Spoiler that kind of helped. But, like, <laughs> this game's been out a while. It's not our fault at this point. Yeah, I guess. Because, I mean, they just came out with the collector edi Collector's Edition, Bioshock 1, 2, and Infinite. If you're just playing Bioshock and you're watching this show, I, we're else. sorry. But, like... <laughs> What I I'm on that the same story no, I'm on the same page as you. It's like you should have played it when it came out. Jesus, I want the collector's edition of Bioshock and, Infinite. See, I mean, a lot of times I wait to play a game. So I'm, you do, you do. Now I've really been into the Arkham series. You know that. Yeah. I'm a huge Batman. Have fan. Have you played Arkham Knight yet? I played some of it. I was just thinking of another ending though, quick. Okay. Uh, that you didn't like too much. Walking Dead. Oh my <laughs> God. I was that you know what that's perfect I was never felt so fucking See, robbed like, like, in my like, goddamn life I more of these that you didn't like cause like I said a lot of times I get fucking I no, get that I sick I get that sixth sense where like I should stop playing this you either bail or you're like okay with what's gonna happen. I mean d saw off his arm or don't doesn't fucking matter cause he's gonna die anyway it's true and he gives you the most half ass speech at the end he could have said so many meaningful things to that little girl before he left and it was it, I can't remember what he said so to me it was the equivalent of like wait could you go to the store and get some milk cause it was just it was so uneventful like right be, like be a good person but don't trust people I mean, there, there's so much he could have said, and I just—it was so lackluster. And then they made me feel like well, I will say my that, decisions would have changed things, and they didn't. So you never played season two, and I'm sure there's been—and I'm sure there's been backlash off. Well, the season three's coming out just in another month. <laughs> you got caught up. Here, you buddy. told me it well, didn't like said, matter. Well, it didn't matter either way, regardless. But again, you have to break yourself down. This is a video game, and it's not like they can make. I mean, it's a telltale. It's a small company. You know what I mean? It's not like they have you know millions and millions of dollars to no, and that's put into fine. the software there, where there can be umpteen infinite different decisions that you can make. No, and I just felt like they kind of misled me. Oh yeah, yeah. It, but like I was just gonna say, I think they you were you're not alone in the ending of the first season. That the first season sense. was awesome, you know. But like you said, the ending was kind of there. You know, I've heard many people say that they thought it was garbage. 
Well, you know, but I'll say with the end of season two, it was fucking epic, and they I totally can... made it feel like the, and it was like you made the choice, and I guess your choices are going to bring it back to season three. Because when I was, right, I was getting ready to play season two, and I was like, oh shit, it's a different platform because it's Xbox One versus 360. Right, and maybe I, I should replay the first one because it says my decisions are going to impact it. And nah, showing up, not really, no. Because like, remember that really one guy, you could have killed him, and he's still there. Yeah, the um, the hippie dude with the with the glasses. Um, when they're in the car together, he was the guy in the passenger yep. seat. You remember from four hundred days, and yep. they're chasing or they're running away from the dude chasing him in the pickup truck. Yep, that hillbilly guy. No, you have the option, you know, because you're all getting all finicky and chasey and all that, and the guy that your friend goes out to see what's going on. Well, if you wait long enough, you could end up dying. Well, that guy's still in it because they fucked up when they they realized that shit. We're releasing this game on. Uh, PS4s and Xbox Ones, and technically you can't pull a save file from that. Or, right. So they had they just had to go and make a fucking default mode, no matter what happened. This is the way it is. Yep, a default. And, and I makes get that. you feel like you're making a choice, and you're making because like there's at the end of the 400 days, the group splits up. You know, yep. like these people are going with you, and you, and you aren't can alter their decisions. And you're and almost whatnot. saying like, damn, I wonder what group I'm going to see or what's going to be going on. And literally, like I had. Nothing. And I was, and I was pissed. I was. I was like, this is fucked. You know, I was like, well, and then, but I was like, whatever. The story's going to probably be really good. And it was. And the story, outside of the ending, I enjoyed playing. for season two. Uh, Season two, I will eventually Yeah, even though the 400 days didn't have shit to do with anything, it was still a really good shit. I mean, episode or whatever the fuck you call it, game. Well, the other one that really comes to my mind, and this was, again, it's, it's not the story. Arkham... Night, I've heard it, it, from what I've played, amazing game. Story, yeah, it's awesome. It's even there. It, same thing with um, Walking Dead. Really, uh, that season one that I've experienced outside of Lee's death, I didn't. I, I liked it. I enjoyed mm-hmm. the ride. It was the company telling me about the game that really upset me later because I felt like they had misled me. And the thing with Arkham Knight is they said we're creating this all new character. You've never seen him before. He's brand new to the Batman mm. universe. And then they described him, and before the game had released, the fans were like, oh, so it's Jason Todd. So are we? Are you talking more about things that you don't like in games and I, not endings? Well, or? this was disappointing, because that was because, sort of tied to the ending, I guess. Well, yeah, I mean... He, the big Yeah, reveal. he was, he was, because, I mean, that's pretty much one of the last big battles you do is against the Red Hood. Right. And again, it <laughs> again just, it's not. That's not what he's called. If the company would have just not said that, I wouldn't have. It, it would have. It wouldn't have been the same thing. I just felt like that was disappointing. Oh like, yeah, I was yeah, yeah, totally. It, it was a cop out. Yeah. It was just to sell games, I guess. It was. It's Jason Todd in a different outfit, and right. then they added like, what if before he became the Red Hood, he first showed up and it was, was this like dickhead? This thing. Well, you guys. <sighs> Right, but I mean the game was, was really good. I'm um, yeah, and I'm not saying that even yeah. Walking Dead one. I am too yeah. harsh on it because I did enjoy the ride. I played every season or every episode right up mm-hmm. until that last one. Did, so and did that's you ever play Four Hundred Days? Then I did. Oh, you did. Okay. okay. Yep. And I loved it. I played yep. it a couple times. Just yep. that was also a really brutal game. Yeah. What What disappoints me not with Four Hundred Days. The one thing that actually made me happy with that is that they had trophies in there that made you go back and replay it again. Yep. The first one that was really silly that they didn't. Well, and then same with season two. Really? Yeah, it's all they're all gimmies. Oh, um, all the way through. No platinum trophy though in season two, which is very weird because there was uh, a platinum trophy in the first one. So I don't know who's running this monkey show. So yeah, so then you got season three coming out, and the thing I'm really hoping is they go back to like the Back to the Future Telltale games. Yeah, where you had to I never played that, but I've heard that it was really cool. Yeah, you know, I mean, and it gave you a reason to play it again. But with these Telltale games, you play it one time through, there really is no need to, unless you just want to see a there different was a outcome. In I Jurassic mean, Park, there were a yeah, couple different couple ones, replay. I played that one too. not much. Most no. of it was just about doing it perfect the first see, time that through. that one came out before Back to the Future. I mean, that I used, I used game, to know though. the timelines like, of all I the Telltale. Really, cause I really like that You Jurassic. ever heard of Strong Bad? Yep. Uh, there's a Telltale, Telltale game. game of that, too. I used to have that yeah, one, too. Strong Bad. <laughs> That's funny. But yeah, fucking. Like I said, even with sitting here, I still I've been trying to think. I have been like trying to think of like game endings that I just don't really care for. It's like shit. You're I'm sure there is game. one. I'm sure there is one, but I didn't have a lot of time to dig deep down and look in the old filing cabinet and dust off some shit in the brain. <laughs> <laughs> like I said, I'm sure there are some shit that I do not like. 
Well, I think that's it. I think that's it. It's always a glorious ride here. It is. Talk. I always enjoy when you come and do an episode with me. So don't forget to like, subscribe, and share to the channel. Find me at Biggie Blazin. Uh, pretty much everything, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, here on YouTube. Just type in Biggie Blazin and my, my mug will pop up. <laughs> Where can people find you at? D Ghost Me 86 here on YouTube. Uh, we do the Please Don't Sue Us podcast. Please check us out if you like what you see. Um, you can find me at Dustin Elringer and just about everything else. And Twitter at Elringer Dustin. That's where he's at. That's where I go. So my gamer tag, in case you guys want a friend to hang out with on PlayStation, is Biggie KMK. And on Nintendo, it's Biggie Blazin'. PlayStation won't let you change your fucking names, so it kind of sucks. So it's at BKMK. <laughs> Xbox One, I'm uh, D Ghost Me 86 again. Yeah, come find me. Let's play a game. Maybe you'll get a Nintendo NX, and you can join the Nintendo Brethren. We will rise. We will rise. Thanks for watching.